I'm Sharon Barnes Waters and welcome to City Views, a show about people, places and things that make New York great. For 25 years, the Image Custom Clothing Company, 5001 Flavors, has been creating the images for celebrities and entertainers, sports figures and musicians and they were not satisfied with doing that for their A-list clients. Five years ago, they opened up a retail store where they said, you and I can be treated like celebrities and have our own red carpet moment. I kind of like that. I want to welcome the husband and wife team who are the owners of 5001 Flavors, Guy and Shireen Wood. Welcome. Thank you, Sharon. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. So, husband and wife team, what came first, the marriage or the business, Guy? <laughs> <laughs> Well, the business came first. Okay. The business came first. We started 25 years ago. It was a dream that we had together, and we just made it happen. It went from selling one shirt to two shirts to three shirts to two clients to four clients. Wow. To, and it just snowballed like that. Did, was this a business that you always wanted to be in? Is this something that you said, I'm going to go to school for this? This is what I want to be in? Um, Shereen, what was your... Path well, actually not. I was a college student when we started, and I always knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I mm -hmm. just wasn't sure in what capacity. Yeah, because you're the president and CEO of the company. Yes, you're I handle designer. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I handle all administrative and organizational, and he hand, handles all the creative aspects. So when we started the company, it really came out of an opportunity that you know, guy met the right contact, and the opportunity kind of bloomed, and we kind of transformed the business to fit the business model that it is today. But it started out very differently for us. Um, I was actually going to school for um, pre-law. I was pre-law okay. at Columbia, and this was not in anticipated. But you know, here we are, 25 years later. And you're the designer, so yeah. how did you? Did you, is this something that you definitely wanted to do? You wanted to be in this kind of an environment. Yeah, way? I knew that I wanted to be in some type of entertainment, and I was a pretty, pretty sharp dresser. Oh, okay. and, I and, can see. No, <laughs> no, I don't mean to say it that way, but no, I no, was, no, you I know, I was pretty clean, and and people would approach me and ask me what what I have on. And then I said, you know, I made it. They wow. said, oh, you made it. And it just it went, it was snowball after that. Well, you guys kind of blew up. Tell me yeah. about um, your A-list stars. I know you created mm -hmm. like an image for Biggie. How did that yeah. all come about, your journey in this business? Well, Sean Combs came to us. He, at that time, he was just opening up his own label. He was, mm -hmm. First he was an intern, then he became an, an exec. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was an exec. And then he started his own label. And Biggie was his first, one of his first projects. And he came to us because we were doing work with Joe to see, and we did a lot of stuff on Uptown Records. And he liked what we were doing. And we understood his direction. So he came to us and was said, you know, I got this artist that I think it would be great. You know, I want him to be the biggest, that he's going to be the highest thing ever. Wow. Wow. So then he came with a formula, and, and then we sat down and we just mapped it out. As far as how Biggie's going to look, how, you know, he already had a sound. So he was a visionary, and then I just just put the pieces together for him, made the visual come to life. So you collaborate with yeah. the artist, with the yeah. team yeah. to yes. get that. Right. It's, it's a lot of meetings that go on, and they tell you, this is the lane we want him to look like. We want him to look like this person in this movie, but to move forward, or you want him to look like, you know, and it's, it's a whole, it's not just... You come out and you, you're a superstar. You're super, you're right. No, no, it's right. positioned. Right, right. And, and it's, it's a, a lot of meetings and a lot of thought process and a lot of p pulling pictures and, you know, just doing the necessary steps. What well, Biggie was great because he was a young guy that was open for whatever we were wow. willing to do. And the size of it yeah, too, to and that's what, that. Yeah, that's what made it <laughs> massive because no one, was, no one was doing what he was doing. He was wearing colors and screaming out Versace, but, you know, we were making the clothing. And the great thing was he wasn't scared of color. Wow, that's, that's fantastic. And now, yeah. uh, Shay, as we can call mm -hmm. you Shay, too, mm -hmm. um, husband and wife team, mm -hmm. how do you make that all work as a husband? And I always ask people who partner mm -hmm. together and work together, how does that work for you guys? Creatively. Well, sometimes it works well, and sometimes <laughs> you, you have to make it work well. We probably have been in every type of relationship relationship situation throughout our um, existence as a business. We started out dating, we were living together, we were not living together, but ultimately the brand was always a baby, something right. that we created. So 
one, you have to respect the business right. aspect of what you're doing, and you can't let personal bleed into that. Um, but I, I actually love working with my family. Um, I also work with my husband. I also work with my family because I feel like we're building something together. It's a business Building legacy game. that we're building. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not just that we're working. We're working to better our lives. So it's a group effort for a collective uh, agreement that we're mm -hmm. building a brand, but we're building a, bu a business. We're building transferable wealth. So it, it kind of, I don't understand why people think it's so hard when it really isn't. Right. Yeah. So I know you have other celebrities that you, tell mm -hmm. me about please name drop <laughs> tell me about the other stars that you've you know created image or, or sent clothing to or designed for well I love that we've worked with some of our clients going from obscurity to fame over the last 25 years so a lot of our clients are very long-standing clients wow. we've had clients before when they were unsigned hype to mega stardom um, like Guy said, we worked with Sean Puffy Combs when he was an intern at Uptown and building that relationship and watching him grow has enabled us to not only have him as a client, but all of his artists that he's worked with wow. up to his sons. So now we have intergenerational clients, you know, thanks to kind of the longevity of hip hop. Um, Swiss Beats is a client, wow. Alicia Keys, Mary J. Blige. Um, LeBron James, wow. Carmelo Anthony, Jay-Z. Uh, Beyonce, too? Beyonce. Yeah. Blue and Blue Ivy. Ivy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, our youngest client right now is Asad, um, DJ Khaled's son. Um, he's a client. So um, we have a, a, a very long list and diverse. We've worked with people from all types of uh, backgrounds, behind the scenes, in front of um, the camera, um, big screen, small screen, movies, red carpet. How do, you get, how do you get ready for a red carpet night? How, how much planning goes into it? Is it last minute? Is it, we have this that we think it'll look good on you? How does that work with well, red carpet? Well, red carpet, it, all awards or red carpet is, is super stressful. We work with a lot of stylists. Okay. So, they take a lot of the stress off of us because we just have a delivery date. Okay. Let's say it's 1 o'clock today. After that, we pass the clothing to them, and then they run and do all the necessary so things. So you're not the ones that, with the needle and thread no, on No, no, we don't. No, 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 no. We make the garment. We make the garment. The stylist takes the garment and ships it to L.A. or gets it to L.A. or downtown, wherever, wherever the event is, and they place it on, on the celebrity. And tell me about trends. Um, how, where do you get your inspiration as a designer? People. What inspires you? People. People. I love walking the streets of New York because New York is, is international. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you hit Soho. It's like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I'll, I'll just spend hours just people watching. Because you, it, it's like you can travel the world and see things that you would never see. I took another designer with me downtown mm -hmm. um, this week. And he said... He's, he's originally from Chicago. And he was like, yeah, I've never been to Soho before. I said, really? He said, I, I, I said, well, that's a great thing as a designer because you, didn't, you don't use inspiration right. to get your designs. Mm -hmm. But when you're, when you're downtown, you see a, a montage of people. Yes. And, it, and it's so cool. You see a guy with a flower pot on his head. You might see <laughs> and it becomes a trend. Yeah. You, but, I mean, what happens is... You just see styles from all over the world. I think traveling is the best thing. Okay. And if you can't travel, just come to your city and just watch the youth. They're so funky. They're so cool. Wow. They just, you know. And a lot of times people design because they don't have the money. So the pants might be a little shorter, a little tighter, a little ill-fitting, or whatever. But that's, that's their style. They're making the best of what they can do. And I can look past all that and say, oh, that's a cool, that's a cool style. That's a cool trend. That's something that we, can, we could touch on it. Wow. And, and, and mm -hmm. Shay, how has your business changed in 25 years? Well, we definitely started off doing a little bit more um, styling services. Right. Um, and styling became image consulting and ultimately became exclusively custom clothing. I think what our clients want is not readily available in a marketplace or they want um, a little bit more customization um, so that that sets them apart. So a lot of our clients are very specific about color, about fabric, mm -hmm. about the look. Um, a lot of times when we get um, 
treatments for videos or you know descriptions of photo shoots is very specific so we mm -hmm. have to tailor everything around a theme a color a concept mm -hmm. uh, so we have to work individually with our clients to give them exactly what they want what they want um, and ultimately we're creating fashion but we're also building their brand so everyone's mm -hmm. very specific about what they want how they look um, how they want to be tr portrayed um, even people have you had difficulties with clients battling back and forth of kind of what they see and want but what you think would be a little different and be more productive I wouldn't say them? challenges no. Um, uh, no. I, I think the the problem is when when you are stuck to a particular trend it may be a problem for designers not for me but yeah. ultimately you have to give the client what, what they, they want. want. And sometimes right. the client is not talent, sometimes it's production, sometimes it's a manager. Uh, we meet our clients kind of in all different parts of their lives, so you have to be respectful of who the client actually is and what the product is that you're pushing. Sometimes it's a sneaker, sometimes it's a, for a commercial. So the fashion of the, the client is not as important as the overall theme. So you, okay. you have to yeah. be flexible. Okay, if, okay. Like now if it's personal clothing, then I will, I will interject and say, no, that's not hot for you or your body. But if, if a director or if it's a scene of a video, I have no say. Okay. Because at the end of the day, they already had this meeting, and mm -hmm. now they're just calling me for custom clothing. Okay, okay. That, you know, that's the difference. That's difference. Now, if you're calling me saying, hey, I'm going out to dinner with my husband, and I want to wear this dress. How you feel about this dress, guy? And I said, well, I don't really feel that dress. I think this, this, this silhouette is stronger for you. No, that, that, that's, that's a different, a different yeah, story. That's, that's a different, yeah. But if it's a video or it's, a, it's a, an appearance, or they have, a, you, you, they have their vision already. So okay. my job is to fulfill their dream. Okay. And speaking that's of, mm -hmm. Har Harlem Haberdashery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> where <laughs> <It's a> <laughs> I, too, can feel like a celebrity. Yes. And yes. I, too, can have my mm -hmm. red carpet moment. Why did you start um, Harlem Haberdashery five well, years ago? Did yeah, that? five years ago. What happened was, Shireen was like, we have to take this business to the next level. We've, we've conquered doing custom clothing. I see us having a freestanding store. I said, Shay, I, I, don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> you know, because it's already stressful, what, what, you know, what we're doing. She said, no, 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 to the next level, to the next level. Wow. So she found a location. She, she, she found a beautiful location. I said, if you can negotiate it with the guy, because I knew wow. the guy was not giving it up. <laughs> the, the building owner wanted the store for himself. So Shay talked to him, talked to him, talked to him, coffee, <laughs> donuts, whatever they did. Listen to your wife. Yeah. Finally, she won him over, yes. and we got the location. It was a beautiful location. And then what was so great about it, we had family helping with the 5001, but now we put them all in position to be designers. They wow. already were designers, so they, now they design and they put their stuff in the store. Fantastic. And they, we all share in the ownership of the store so that at the end of the day, they all have a vision and something to work for. Wow. Yeah, and so that's what all... passing the, you know. And it's still that one of a kind, that yes, custom yes, yes, look. Yes, yes, yes. But it's at, it's at a retail price. Custom is a little more expensive than going walking right. into a store and getting something. You know, it's, it's, much, it's much more reasonable right. because we understand that your general public has to come in here. Right. This and having your family is a part of it. I think your son yeah, is yeah. a designer, too. Yeah, my son, my daughter is a designer. And my brother. And your our brother. brother. Yeah, our brother is a designer. And a lot of our friends are designers. So if they have ideas and we, we think it's cool, let's make four or five pieces and see how it does. And you chose Harlem because that's... Oh, uh, where we were born and Harlemites. raised. Yeah. yeah. And so yeah. That, you thought that was a great location. It was a yeah. great location. Yeah. To bring back to the... And I know that yes. you guys do give back to the oh, community you in, have many, to. in many, many yes. ways. Um, yes. And also, I'm going to just point out that next month, which is September um, 6th through the 13th, will you be participating um, in the Harlem Fashion Row? Yes. Tell me about that. Mm -hmm. Um, so part of our 25th anniversary celebration uh, was definitely, um, we had a museum exhi exhibit at the Museum in the City of New York, a fashion retrospective, and we also wanted to bring those looks to Harlem's Fashion Row, which is celebrating its 10th anniversary in existence. So we're very proud to partner with um, Brandis of Harlem's Fashion okay. Row and kind of bring the exhibit to life, um, celebrating our customers and clients, the legacy of their music, but also us partnering with them and 
kind of create in history and these really great iconic images and videos that kind of become part of pop culture. So not only do we feel like we've made clothes, it's kind of celebrating you know, our um, contribution to, to pop culture and, hi and history. So uh, we will have a fashion show at Harlem's Fashion Row. Sixth through the 13th. Yes. yes. All right, congratulations. And I uh, just want to thank you both again for coming. Um, 25 years of excellence. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. 25 years of excellence. Thank and you. then bringing it to the retail. I know you said uh, that Harlem Haberdashery is the uh, retail expression. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, 5001 flavors. But, you know, congratulations on a quarter of a century wow. in this Thank business Thank and uh, we look forward to seeing more and more of your fashions maybe you'll have another idea Shay <laughs> that guy is going to listen to listen to your wife look what happened look what happened you're welcome but thanks for stopping by City Views and continue success <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you Thank you.